we've seen how many lightning lanes we can get in one day. 24 lightning lanes in one day. We've ridden every thrill ride in Disney World in one day. We've even gone coast to coast in one day. But there is one challenge we haven't attempted yet. How many characters can you meet in one day? Disney World isn't all about the rides and attractions. It's also about seeing all of your favorite characters come to life. One of my favorite parts of a Disney World vacation is meeting all of the characters, and today we're gonna see just how many I can meet in one day. Now this challenge is about how many characters I can meet, not how many characters I can see. So just seeing a character on a cavalcade float or seeing them on the Castle Stage show, that does not count. My rules for this challenge are as followed. I must snap a picture with the character and get their autograph. I do have an autograph book here. So, must get the autograph and a picture with the character for it to count. I have purchased Disney Genie Plus for this challenge because there are a few meet and greets that do have lightning lanes. They're not very many, but there are some. So I will be using a combination of lightning lanes and standby lines in order to complete this challenge. I'll also be giving you my best tips and tricks for meeting characters along the way. I know that for some people meeting characters can be a little uncomfortable, but I'm gonna show you all the best tips and tricks. I'm gonna show you just how magical it can be because it is one of the best parts of a Disney vacation. I'm gonna be honest, we're having a slow start to our day. It is currently 9.15 and Epcot opened at nine and I wanted to be in a character line at 9 a.m. But you know what? That's realistic. Sometimes on vacation, you think you're gonna get up and road drop and be there, but sometimes that doesn't always happen. So um, a couple things happened this morning. Number one being, I didn't have an SD card for this camera. So Quincy, <laughs> Quincy got me one at Walmart really quickly. And then I had to get a lift over here, you know, the whole, the whole ordeal. So it's currently 9.15. I mobile ordered a scone and some coffee from the Boardwalk Deli. I am now walking towards the International Gateway at the back of Epcot, back of World Showcase. And I'm gonna scan in Hopefully meet, plan right now is Alice in the UK. It's gonna be fine, we're gonna have a great day. We're gonna meet so many characters. If you can't tell from this angle. We've got a very subtle um, Sully outfit going on today. I didn't, I don't have the Sully ears, so I did it with my hair, kind of. So it's gonna be a good day. We have curiosity and oh. insanity positivity. Oh, that's so There's so fun. many different ones that you could try. Thank you. Know. you. Of course. Can we take a selfie together? Absolutely, a selfie. A selfie. <laughs> <just> <laughs> Thank you so much. Of course, well, I hope you enjoy your tea time. Thank you. Do be careful when you go down the rabbit hole. I will, always. Bye. Bye. Okay, one character down. We just met Alice over in the UK. Now I'm going to head to France to meet Princess Aurora. They both started at nine. So we'll see if Aurora's still out when I get over here. We're walking past Minnie Mouse. But here's the thing. I can meet Minnie a lot of places. So she's not my priority right now. My priority right now is all the princesses here in Epcot that you can meet and other special characters like Vanellope and Joy from Inside Out that you can't meet anywhere else. So, oh, I see Aurora's, Aurora has a line, so we're probably gonna go hop in it. Hi! Oh, Hello! You look great today. Yes. Would you like me to sign this Yes, for please. You? Of course, now I love this blue dress you're wearing Thank today. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. There she goes. Hi, hello. I love your ball gown. You Thank so you. Beautiful. It's not quite the same shade as your oh, blue. That's all right. We still <laughs> almost match a little bit. Yes. It's 10:04. I've met three characters so far, and it hasn't even been an hour because I don't even I didn't even scan in until 9:15. So I am still trucking. I decided to skip Jasmine in Morocco for now because I wanna go one character ahead. I'm trying to do them all in a line so I don't have to go back and forth across the park. So now I'm gonna to head to China because Mulan just came out at 10. One big tip I have when meeting characters, if you are wanting them to sign an autograph book, sign picture frame, what have you, 
Uh, make sure you have it ready to go when you're standing in line. So something I like to do is when I'm only a few parties away from meeting the character, I will open up my book to the page I want them to sign, stick the pin on that page, and then close it back up so that I can easily just hand the character my book, they open it to the right page, and they know which one to sign. That makes, that makes things a lot easier for the characters and the attendants. It makes the interaction go a lot faster so you're not taking up too much time. So that is a big pro tip when meeting characters. Also, one thing to note is not every character has PhotoPass photographer. So far, all of the characters I've met this morning haven't had any. They only have the one character attendant. That's normally how it's gonna be here in Epcot when characters are outside. So more of the inside characters are the ones that have the PhotoPass photographers, so just be ready for that. I'm also by myself, so I have my camera to record video. I have my phone to take pictures. Um, Alice I took a selfie with and then the other two so far people have been nice and said hey can I take a picture for you so something to be aware of if you've got a big group of course you can take turns take pictures of each other so that's helpful but just something to keep in mind not every character is gonna have photo pass oh my goodness you don't even where is everybody I'm not sure it's know. probably too early in the morning we could go hang out you need you want to go ride a ride <laughs> you want to go ride guardians or something <laughs> I, I wish <laughs> yeah. I have to stay here and recruit some that's soldiers true. that's true <laughs> service announcement everyone go meet Mulan I could have talked to Mulan for probably half an hour there was no one in there so go see her now I will say a lot of these lines are short right now because as soon as everyone gets to the park in the mornings they go ride rides usually when you're rope dropping you're gonna try to get on the biggest most popular ride very first thing so if you and your family if there's a little kiddo in your family that really only cares about the characters rope drop the characters because Every single line I've gotten in has been like five minutes, maybe, maybe 10. So this is great. It's gonna be a great day. Now I'm gonna go back in the opposite direction. I'm gonna go back to meet Snow White in Germany. Just kidding, we're going to Mexico to meet Donald because it's currently 10.15. Snow White and Jasmine don't come back out until 10.45. So we've got 30 minutes to kill and Donald comes out at 10.30. So. That's the new plan. Hi, Donald. Can you please sign this for me? How are you doing today? I love your outfit. I saw you, actually, I don't know if you remember me. I saw you yesterday at Topolino. Oh, yes, of yes. course. He was practicing his art then. Yes, of course. So I had to come see you again today. Yes, we danced around the restaurant. See, you remember. You remember. All right, so we met Donald in Mexico. Anna and Elsa are currently a 60 minute wait, which I'm probably gonna have to do eventually. I don't really wanna do that right now. I think it's too early to stand in an hour long line, but we'll see. So it is 10.30. We're gonna go back to Germany for Snow White, Morocco for Jasmine. Another tip as we walk over to Germany, always listen to cast members. That's just a big tip in general, all over Disney World, but especially when you're meeting characters, Please listen to the cast members, listen to those character attendants wearing those blue shirts. I promise they know the best and most efficient way to get you through that line, to meet that character. They do things for safety reasons, so you know, whatever they ask you to do, please be respectful, please listen to them. They're gonna tell you to set your bags down on the ground, you know, so nobody trips over them. They're gonna tell you to have your autograph book ready to go, open to the right page specifically for characters like Donald and Mickey and Minnie, it's very important that you have your book open to the exact page ready to give to them. And I even, when I met Donald, instead of handing him, picture my book is open, instead of handing him my book like this, I turned it, I turned it this way so when I gave it to him, it was in the right spot for him to sign. So just little things like that are gonna go a long way when you're meeting characters. All right, and now we're gonna hang out here for a few minutes until Snow White comes out. Hi! Hello! For you. Please! And what kingdom are you traveling from? So I'm actually all the way from the kingdom of Texas, if you've ever heard of it. I have not! Okay. Do you think the dwarves would like it if they came to visit? They would. It's got a lot of good food if they've ever had barbecue. I don't think that they okay. have. Do you have delicious pie as well? We do. Yes. Perfect. You'll have to have extra slices for Grumpy. So he's not so grumpy, of course. Yes. <laughs> Thank 
barbecue and put it in a pie. Well, that might be good. Yes. Actually. Oh, I think yes. we would like that. Or a stew. Okay, I'll bring it next time. That. Oh, that sounds like a okay. good idea. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, apparently next time, next time I come to Disney, I have to bring Snow White a barbecue pie. Um, I don't know. I don't know if that would be good or not, but it probably would be good. But I got to bring the dwarves some good Texas barbecue. So I'll do that next time. Now we are briskly walking to go meet Jasmine in Morocco. And then right after that, we're going to turn back in the other direction and go get in line for Anna and Elsa. Because so far, it's an hour wait. So I, I need to go get in that line. And on the topic of Texas and talking about Texas with Snow White, that's a good time to bring up the fact that Disney characters can only talk about things in the Disney universe. So if you ask them hard questions, something outside of the Disney realm, they're not gonna answer it. They're not gonna know what that is. Snow White has never heard of Texas. She doesn't know what that is. They don't know Nickelodeon characters. They don't know universal characters. So just be respectful. Don't be rude and ask them questions to trick them on purpose, because that's not cool. That's not what we do here. We don't promote that. So just ask them questions about their story you can ask them questions about other Disney characters, but nothing outside of the Disney realm. Um, so elephants, they can't hide as good as bunnies can. No, a little bit harder. <laughs> Maybe you can play with us sometime, or you could find it before me. Yes, all right after this, I'll go look for them. You might be buying, you might be buying the stacks, the sugar cakes for us, that's cool. And now apparently we're on a mission to go find a boo, but we don't have time because we have to go meet Anna and Elsa now, which is kind of on the other side of World Showcase. But that's okay. All right, I think we're making good time. We have met seven characters so far, and it's only 11 o'clock. Hasn't even been two hours. So I think we're doing good. It's a good start to our day. Now we need to go to Norway for Anna and Elsa. I currently don't know what the wait time is for that right now. We'll see when we get there. But here at Epcot, I still need to do on an Elsa, Pluto at the front of World Showcase, and then head over to Imageworks to meet Joy from Inside Out and Vanellope von Schweetz from Wreck-It Ralph. And then depending on what time, we'll see, because I do need to leave pretty soon from this park to get to the next one. So we'll see what that looks like when it gets closer to 1 p.m. That's two hours from now, so I think we're doing good. Good vibes. Y'all, I think we have some good news. <gasps> It dropped down to a 30 minute wait. Amazing! Hey, hello, how are you doing? Oh, I'm amazing, and you look beautiful today. <laughs> Thank you I so like much. Icy blue. Yes, you, you know. You have the ice powers in your kingdom. A little. <laughs> a little bit, still practicing, right? Yes, of course. <laughs> I know, it took Elsa a while to learn how to master hers, but now we get to use them for all sorts of fun things, mm -hmm. like building snowmen, yes. sled rides. Maybe we'll build a snowman together sometime. That would be so fun. It's really hot outside, actually. Oh, yeah, so we'll use a little bit of a snow flurry for yes. it. Yes, please. <laughs> sister said something about you having ice powers. I'm, I'm trying to become like oh, you. I see. You're doing a great job. Alright, so I will say there are some areas where there's a PhotoPass box. So you have to come over here and scan your magic band in order to get your photos. So I'll talk more about it outside, but this is what it looks like. I waited seven minutes. Posted 30, only waited seven. Already out, met both of them. So that was super great. Really needed for this character challenge. On that note, let's talk about the PhotoPass boxes. Some inside character locations will have a PhotoPass box where it's not a PhotoPass photographer human being, but it's a box that takes your picture. So they, of course, have character attendance in there as well if you want to take photos on your phone, if you are not purchasing PhotoPass Memory Maker. So don't worry, you'll be fine. But in order to get those PhotoPass box pictures, you do have to scan your Magic Band as soon as as you finish meeting that character. So I scanned it once after Anna, then I scanned it again after Elsa. So now those photos will be linked to my account on the My Disney Experience app. And now we're gonna come over here and wait a few minutes for Pluto's line. Hi Pluto! Can I please have your autograph? Please, very much. Would love it. <laughs> I'm trying to meet you and all your friends today. All right, we just met Pluto. And now we are heading towards Imagination with Figment because there's two characters in that building. And then also right next to it, there's something that I feel like not many people know about, which is the Disney Visa card member photo opportunity. So if you do have a Disney Visa, 
there's this extra special location that you can go and meet some characters. So we're gonna go check it out. And now we're coming up on Journey into Imagination with Figments. This is one of the rides here at Epcot. However, the front is the entrance to hop on the ride, but I don't want to ride the ride. I just want to go to the fun activities after the ride. So we can actually come over here to the left and go inside the side of the building. All right, so inside Imageworks is the What If Labs, and there's actually so many fun activities for kids back here. It's great. This is where you walk out of when you are done with Figment, but there's actually two meet and greets back here. So there is Vanellope Von Schweetz from Wrecker Ralph and Joy from Inside Out. This is the only place you can meet these characters. Hi, how are you doing today? Can I please get your autograph? I'm trying to fill the whole entire book, so I need yours. <laughs> You know, not too long ago, I was on a cruise ship and I actually went to your sweet shop and I had all the ice cream and all the candy and all the gelato. Yes, I love it. So you've got a good operation over there. It's making a lot of money. So I hope you know that. All right, now I will say there is a spot for you to meet Mickey Mouse over here, right next door at the Disney Pixar Short Film Festival. Wish that never has a line, but we're gonna go somewhere else for a quick second. So right over here in this building, it's actually the Disney Visa photo experience. So this over here is where you have an extra special photo opportunity if you are a Disney Visa card holder. However, it doesn't open until one and it is currently noon. So I can't go in there and show you it today because I do wanna leave this park at one o'clock. So I will not go in here today but you can meet some fun characters most of the time, like Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, Pluto. So this is an extra special opportunity with super short waits because not many people come over here. So keep that in mind for your next trip, but instead we're gonna head back to the front of the park. Right now, the plan, pretty much we're done here in Epcot. We are gonna go up to the front to see if there are any characters at the front of the park. Sometimes there are, sometimes Minnie, Mickey, Goofy, Pluto. So we're gonna see who's up there. If anyone is, we might hop in line really quick, but then soon we're gonna park hop because it's almost park hop time. Now, the reason I'm leaving so early to park hop is because the next park we're going to, there's a very special character that I want to meet <laughs> and she's gonna have very, very long line. So we need to be there as soon as park hopping starts. To give you an idea about crowds today, so far it hasn't been crazy busy. Genie Plus was $22 today. So a little in the middle, not quite super, super busy. I'm sure other parks are more busy than Epcot, at least in the morning time, but look at this for Spaceship Earth right now. So crowds are starting to pick up and they'll pick up a little bit more because it is getting close to park hopping time. There's me. So let's see who's out. Oh, I see Minnie. She might be the only one out here, but I think I might go ahead and hop in this line. Hi Minnie, how are you today? You look beautiful as always. Can I please have your autograph? <laughs> All right, we took the boat across the World Showcase. And you know, it might've been a little bit faster for me to fry walk, speed walk, but sometimes you gotta save your energy where you can. So I decided to take the boat, nice peaceful boat ride to the back of World Showcase. Now we are going to exit through the International Gateway. I think we're going to head over to the Beach Club. See if there's any characters we can see there. Or sometimes Daisy is over here on the way out. Possibly meet her. And then we're going to head to our next park. Hi, Miss Daisy. How are you today? Can you please sign my autograph? <laughs> I'm trying to meet everybody all in one day. So I've been Hello, very busy. Yes. <laughs> yes. All my friends are in there. We are leaving Epcot. We have officially met 14 characters so far. I think that's pretty good, but we're gonna keep going. Now there is the Skyliner right here, which would be great if I wanted to go to Hollywood Studios, but that is not where we are going next. So I am going to walk just 125 steps because Quincy has done the math. Just walk 125 steps over to the Beach Club Resort, which is right next door to Epcot, hop on a bus and go to Animal Kingdom because there's a very important, very new character that I want to meet right at Park Hop. And regularly, recently, she has had two to three hour 
lines. So that's gonna be our longest line of the day. We're gonna see how it goes, but I wanna be there as soon as I can scan into Animal Kingdom. That's the plan. Because other than Moana, there's not too many characters that you can meet at Animal Kingdom. There's not a whole lot. So it might just be going to meet Moana and then hopping to another park after that. We'll see. We are currently walking past the Beach Club Resort, which Emma and I very recently just stayed for a night here at the Beach Club in a one bedroom villa. And it was amazing. We loved our stay here. If you wanna see how it went, we have a full tour up on the channel already and we have a perfect day at Disney Beach Club Resort. So be sure to check both of those videos out if you wanna know more about the Beach Club. All right, so we've got about 15 minutes until the next Animal Kingdom bus gets here. That's okay, we can sit for 15 minutes. And actually, because we've got some time to kill, I'm gonna walk right into Beach Club Marketplace, possibly grab a bottle of water or maybe a Powerade that I can take with me on the bus. minutes later we are at Animal Kingdom. Now I will say it is only 1.15 and I cannot scan in until 1.47 so I've got some time to kill. I'm probably gonna find the spot to sit down, drink the rest of my Powerade, probably make a TikTok or two, maybe some Instagram reels, get a little bit of work done while I sit and wait for 1.47. If you don't know, park hopping officially starts at 2 p.m., but you can actually, secret hack, you can scan in starting at 1.47 on the dot. So if you're here a few minutes before two and wanna scan in, you can do so. And now we're in Animal Kingdom and it's before two o'clock. So that's a secret, a tip, a hack, if you will. Now, as we walk towards Moana's meet and greet spot, I have no idea what we're about to walk into. It, the wait time is not listed on the My Disney Experience app, so we're gonna have to wait and see what it looks like when we get there. But thankfully it's not too far. Her meet and greet location is on Discovery Island. It's back where Pocahontas used to meet, if you remember her meeting back here. But right over here across from Isle of Java. Hi! Of course, it's so nice to meet you. Uh, no, I haven't. Is he lost? Okay, well, we were going to be here and he was going to fill out a boat. Okay. It's okay. Because okay. the ocean's a friend of mine, so he's safe. It's true. Apparently he's been running around because all I have been seeing is his footprints. Oh, no. Yeah, but no one has actually seen him. Okay, he's, so he's probably just trying to find a snack. Oh, great. Yeah, probably with some a whole bunch of rocks. Mm -hmm. Just yes. eating a pile of rocks. But don't worry, I actually was with Jasmine earlier today and Abu was lost. So now I gotta go find Hey Hey. Okay. So. Yeah, find Hey Hey. Yes. Thank you. Maybe they're together. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? We met Moana. She was super cool. I loved that meet and greet experience. It's actually very new. She only started meeting here last month. Not even a whole month now because it was for Earth Day. So now she's here permanently in Animal Kingdom. It was really cool interaction. Much it was actually a much longer interaction than most, so she is taking her time. It is a very long wait because I got into the line pretty soon after I scanned in at 147, so I was probably in line starting around 155 or so, and it's now 322. So, do the math, that was a long wait. But it's Moana, so worth it, at least for the first time. Now, we're leaving Animal Kingdom. <laughs> Don't worry, I have a plan. But first, I have to make a stop at Photo Pass up at the front because I didn't get my Photo Pass photos. I already checked. I got the family behind me's Photo Pass photos, so we gotta go get that sorted out. And then we will head to the next park. 
All right, so that was a quick one minute fix. I went over to Guardgate Gifts, which is the camera center for Animal Kingdom. I went up to the desk and explained, hey, I got the family behind these photos. And so the wonderful cast member pulled it up on the computer and showed me on the screen and said, which ones are you? Which you can obviously tell because I'm wearing the same outfit, but we basically picked all the ones that are mine and she put those on my account. So it's all fixed. All right, now the plan is to hop on a bus to go to Magic Kingdom because there are three characters that stop meeting very soon. So it's currently 3.30. Merida and Pooh and Tigger at Magic Kingdom all end very soon within the next hour and a half. So that's where we're headed. We're gonna go meet them at Magic Kingdom and then possibly go to studios because some of those meet and greets end early as well. It is 4.08, walking into Magic Kingdom. Just a quick little bus ride over. Merida comes out at 4.15. We'll see if I can make it into that time. I'm not sure yet, but we're gonna walk straight there and we're gonna go check it out. Now I made Merida a priority on this challenge because she will not be here for much longer. Disney has announced that soon this area where Merida meets, they're going to change it and it's gonna be Encanto. You're gonna be able to meet Mirabelle. So not sure if you'll still be able to meet Merida after this. Hopefully she goes to Fairytale Hall, but this might be one of the last chances I get to meet her. Also, I wanna give a shout out to Joey who I met on the bus from Animal Kingdom to Magic Kingdom. We talked the whole way. He told me that he's doing his own version of every ride challenge. So Joey, I wish you the best of luck. If you're watching this video, please tell me in the comments below if you did it, because I want to know. I'm going to be rooting for you the rest of the day. Archery and horse riding, those yes. are my favorite things to do. You know, I did recently go over to Fort Wilderness. You did? Yes. Oh, so did you see all the horses? We rode horses and we did archery. And archery! Yes. Oh, that's so special. So. You know, I'm so glad that they're teaching <laughs> archery lessons to princesses. It was awesome. I think that should be part of regular princess lessons anyway. I agree. Yes. That's so amazing. Yes. And you had a great time horse riding as well. Yes, we did. Oh, well. Wow. Wonderful. Perhaps I'll have to take Angus there and we'll go for a ride sometime. I think that would be fun. <laughs> Love it. All right, Merida is so fun to meet. If you have the chance, you should absolutely do it. She's so much fun. She's not the prim and proper princess, you know? She's got a little bit of an edge to her, and I love that. So, done with Merida. Now we're gonna go see Pooh and Tigger, which is actually very close, right next door. Oh, hi, Pooh. Hi, Tigger. All right, we met Pooh and Tigger, which is super fun. That's a super cute interaction. I love watching little kids meet Pooh because it's so sweet. While in line for Pooh and Tigger, I did make a mobile order for Casey's Corner. So we're gonna go pick that up and on our way to studios, we're gonna eat that. Oh, and that was thunder. That was Big Thunder, not Big Thunder Mountain. So thankfully I met Pooh and Tigger before they had to go inside because they do go inside when it starts to rain. So on to the next one. All right, I mobile order my Casey's. I put it in a to-go box. I can't hold all this and film at the same time. So I'm gonna eat this over to Hollywood Studios. So I'll see you when I get there. I made it to Hollywood Studios. It's raining. Things I do to complete a challenge. Oh, did you hear my voice crack? So again, Olaf has a separate scanner because he's got a photo box. So make sure you scan and get your pictures. You know what the silly part is? Is that I brought a rain jacket. Is it on my person? No. It's at Quincy's house. I feel silly. Originally the plan was to stay at Hollywood Studios for a little bit longer, get a couple more characters, but the rain foiled my plans. And so we met, the rain really foiled my plans actually. And it turns out Olaf doesn't even sign autographs, so he doesn't really count for this challenge, but I did it. It's okay. 
I love meeting Olaf. I love seeing him. So it's fine. But now, park hop one more time. We're going back to Magic Kingdom to meet a bunch more princesses and the big cheese himself because we haven't met him yet. So back on the bus. And just like that, we are back in Magic Kingdom. I literally had the same bus driver going from Magic Kingdom to Studios and then from Studios back to Magic Kingdom. And he was like, oh, look who's back. And I said, yeah, it's me. So <laughs> that was fun. Still a little bit sprinkly, lots of thunder. So everything outside is gonna be closed due to the weather. But it is 6.30. I just booked another lightning lane for Princess Fairytale Hall for later. Right now, we need to go back to Storybook Circus in the back of Fantasyland because we need to go meet Goofy. And he is back there. So, and he's only out until seven. So we've got less than half an hour to get back there, go meet him. And then after that, we're gonna go meet Ariel because she ends at eight. However, I will say, don't just leave a park when it starts to rain. A lot of people do that. And so all the wait times go down super low when it is rainy and stormy. Of course, if there is thunder and lightning in the area, all of the outdoor rides will be closed, but you can still do all the indoor rides. So just because it starts raining, doesn't mean you need to leave the park. I understand sometimes you don't wanna stay, but potentially you could have some pretty short waits. So if you walk all the way to the back of Storybook Circus, we will come up to Pete's Silly Sideshow, which has Minnie, Daisy, Donald, and Goofy, all in one building. It's two separate lines, but they're all in the same place. And here at Pete's Silly Sideshow, they have fun costumes because they're all different circus acts. So it's a fun outfit for each of the characters. So we're gonna skip Minnie and Daisy right now. We need to be Goofy and Donald, it says 30 minutes. Hi Goofy, how are you doing today? How are you doing? Okay, I mean, could be better. Be better. What, Donald? Oh, was he distracting you while you were driving? Okay, you heard it here first. It's Donald's fault, not Goofy's. You're happy because I'm here? <laughs> I mean, I had to come see you. You're number one. You're number one. So of course I had to come see you. I mean, really, like really I'm in line for you. I had to go meet Goofy first, you know? But I'm here to see you, of course. Because you're number one. <laughs> We already met Donald earlier today, but had to meet him again because you know he's number one. So now the plan is to go over right next door again to see Ariel because she only has an hour left, and then after that we'll go ahead to Princess Fairy Tale Hall. Okay, um, 50 minutes. Go meet Ariel, but we're gonna do it. I actually did, yes. And then the rainwater helps it get a lot bigger. It makes it very cute. posted 50 minute wait, it was only 25. So that was good. Ariel does have a lightning lane option, but I cannot make another lightning lane until 8.30. Most of the characters are done at nine. So I already have two for both sides of Princess Fairytale Hall. So that's where we're headed next, because I think one has already started. How are you doing today? Oh, wonderful, and you are so good. Yes, very good, very good. I'm trying to meet you and all of your friends all in one day. That's so wonderful. I've been very busy. <laughs> Now I see that you are almost out of pages I know. in your spell books. So you must be, pra be practicing a lot, aren't you? I am. What's your favorite spell that you like to do? Oh, I don't know. Probably something to do with a snack. Oh, well, of course. Yes. Oh, do you know the spell where you can just kind of duplicate? Hi, how are you? Hi. Oh, I am too, especially now. Oh, perfect. What's been your favorite part so far? So today I'm running all over trying to get everybody's signature, and I've almost filled that book. You really do. Well, you will have the book filled after this. Yes. Well, you've got some room around here. Maybe mm -hmm. you could take the Snuggly Duckling have Pascal sign really small. I love that. You're gonna need an extra tiny paintbrush though. Okay. So I think we're gonna have to turn this into an invitation book now, so we can have a party to celebrate all the new friends you've made. Oh, that'd be lovely. All right, it is 8.09. Last character on our list is Mickey Mouse. So we're gonna head to the front, back to Main Street. He's still here for an hour. So I can't book a lightning lane, 
until 8.32. So I'm probably not gonna use the lightning lane for Mickey. We're just gonna go see what his wait time is. And then I think that'll be it for today. Also, even after years of being a character meet and greet pro, um, I still have my moments because, you know, sometimes I still get starstruck. I just met Princess Tiana, who's amazing, and I had a whole conversation with her, and I was holding my phone up, and then I look slightly to my left, and I realize I didn't press the record button. So I only got one quick little clip at the end of our conversation, but it's okay. I still got the pics, and I still got the autograph, so it counts. This is actually, right now, my favorite time to be on Main Street where it's just dusk, it's not quite dark, the sun is still up, but the lights are on, it's super, super pretty. I love this time of night, right before the fireworks. It just feels very, very magical. But we're gonna go all the way down to the end of Main Street to Town Square Theater, because that's where Mr. Mickey Mouse himself is putting on a show, Master Magician Mickey Mouse. Let me see, let me see, oh, bubbles. All right, Mickey Mouse is only 20 minute wait, so we're gonna go to standby line. Hi, Mickey. How are you doing today? Good, can you please sign my autograph book? Please, the very first page. <laughs> Cause I saved it for you. <laughs> the whole book is full, that's the only page that's left, but it's the very first one. So, very important spot for you. <laughs> yes. Did you make a lot of memories today? We did, they're all from today. So I met all everybody today. today. But you're the very last one. Met everyone in the park today? Um, not even just Magic Kingdom. I went oh, every you've been every yes. all four parks today? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I've met 25 characters. <laughs> so it's Did, been a long we, day. Were we just doing meet and greets today? Yes. Okay. Just characters. Just characters? Yes. Yeah. So I've been everywhere. This morning, it's full. There's not an empty page in it anymore, which means our total for today, the total amount of characters that I met was 25. 25 autographs, I should say. There's 25 pages in here, 25 autographs. Actually, there's more, because I met Donald twice. So I have two Donald signatures. Um, and then, of course, I also met Olaf, who does not sign autographs. So, bigger number, but overall, I think we did pretty good today. I mean, all four parks, trying to meet as many as we can. However, this challenge is very challenging and I would almost say that it's more challenging than all of the other ride challenges that we do here on the channel. In order to meet every single, every single character, every single meet and greet here in Disney, I think you're gonna have to need more than one day. In fact, you might need two days. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe and now go watch Emma and Quincy take on every single water ride in Universal. And now it's time for me to watch Happily Ever After. Bye.